NASCAR Danny Suarez and Eric Almirolling were released all the way back in August of 2021, but I was never able to find them in stores. I was also never able to find pit crew Luigi and Guido from the NASCAR series for whatever reason, and they were re-released in that case with Danny and Eric, so I missed out on my second chance to get Luigi and Guido, and I missed out on my chance to get these two. But just last weekend, I was able to find these two, Luigi and Guido, and the two currently available 2022 NASCAR racers, the new McQueen and Bubble Wheelhouse. So now I'm very glad to be all caught up with my NASCAR racers, and I'm very excited to be reviewing them all. And by the way, the Kyle Busch HTB racer isn't out yet. He's in the next case for those of you who have probably already started typing. Ty, you don't own all of them. You don't have Revy Routing Bush or whatever his name is. Um... Yeah, he, he's not out yet. Rowdy Revving Bush. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that name. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the NASCAR Danny Suarez, who I'm so excited to take a look at. I love Danny Suarez, and I'm very excited to see a new variant of him. Of course, he's based off of real world racer Danny Suarez, who voiced Danny Suarez in Cars 3. This is not a new character, this is just a new variant using uh, Suarez's current number of 99, or at least was current at the time of the release of this diecast. I don't follow NASCAR. I'm not sure if this is still his number because we're in a new year. I believe we're in a new season now. Um, hi, welcome back to Ty is terrible at informing you about NASCAR. I'm very sorry. Here you can see your typical artwork with McQueen. Moving on to the back. Ryan inside Laney, Carson Ace Dillon, Danny, Luigi and Guido, Lightning, and Eric Almirolling. NASCAR logo there. Now let's get this guy out of the packaging. This is his 2021 release, just for the record. I don't believe he's been re-released for 2022 yet. But there we go. Here he is out of the box. Out of the box, out of the packaging. And of course, he also has his little pit stop barrier. This guy looks awesome. I love these NASCAR racers. Easily one of my favorite Expanded Universe series. Um, but here is the little pit stop barrier with the Octane Gain logo, or rather Octane Gain Plus. When Danny is racing for Octane Gain, he uh, the Octane Gain logo has a plus. I'd assume it's a different, like, newer product compared to the typical Octane Gain. Of course, Octane Gain is a vitamin company. You can see Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins written on his spoiler. That's what they sell. And... I've got to say, especially on Danny, I really like how uh, you can kind of get that vibe just from looking at the car. This really looks like some sort of thing advertising like a protein powder or some sort of vitamins. Just the way that the color scheme was done and the way the design was done, I really like that. Something about it to me just like reminds me of maybe vitamin water or protein powder or something. I, I think they just did really good there. Uh, we've got the Octane Gain logo, number 99, and just like with regular Danny, very subtly, if you look very closely, you can see that there are a bunch of O's and G's inside of the 99, just like with uh, the O's and G's inside of the gold foil design on regular Danny. Now, this Danny does not have a gold foil design. It's been replaced with an orange. I like how he's actually kind of closer to the color scheme of Bobby Swift. Uh, of course, the original Octane Gain Racer from the first movie, Billy Oil Changer, was fully orange, so it's cool to see orange return on Danny. But yeah, I really, really like this design. It doesn't look much like Danny, but that's par for the course with uh, the NASCAR racers. Um, they really could have been a bit more consistent with things like the grill matching up or whatever, just to make them look more like the same character. Uh, but still... Really, really nicely done die cast. Loving that darker shade of purple there uh, compared to the regular Danny. We've got the OG there on the hood with all those smaller O's and G's. Uh, if you look very closely, all your typical Danny details up front. Again, some of them are slightly different, like the grill, unfortunately. But he's got most of the same shapes down, same mouth shape. But then again, I believe everyone with Danny's mold has that uh, style mouth. We got the Lightyear tires there. As it's not a 2022 release, it doesn't have those new, different next-gen wheels. Um, but it does have the wheels in silver, which I believe quite a few of the NASCAR racers had. We got the Piston Cup Combustor Carbon Cyber and Synergy written in white. I really like it being in one color on these NASCAR guys. Number 99. That arrow there. Very similar to the designs of regular Danny. You can see sort of like that little part sticking out. Much smaller here. Um... Yeah, I really like 
I, I, I absolutely love, like, my favorite cars in the NASCAR series are probably these new takes on pre-existing uh, racers, like Ryan, Danny, and Chase. I think it's really cool just seeing how they update them. And Bubba as well. I like all the NASCAR racers. Not the biggest fan of Jackson. Really didn't like Pit Crew, Mater, all that much. But I, I just love the designs on these guys. And I'm so glad they're continuing into uh, 2022. Got the number 99 there up on the roof. A sort of darker orange, sort of like a faded color. Much like with NASCAR Crews, I feel like, I don't know, that fading to a darker color could have worked a bit better. Um... I think it looks perfectly fine. I probably would have preferred if it were the same shade of orange as that part, though. Octane Gain Turbo Vitamin. Spoiler is very, very similar to that of the regular Danny. Moving on to the back, I love the continuity with the rookie stripes being removed. I'm of the belief that the NASCAR racers are probably not canon, but still love the continuity there that uh, the rookie stripes are gone. Number 99, Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins. There's a look at the other side. And there is a look at the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another NASCAR review. Then the day after for another. Then another. Then another. We, we've got five guys to review in total. Danny was the first one. And I'm very excited to keep reviewing these NASCAR guys. Bye now.